to every single one of you's a bit Jay-Z. <laughs> That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. David, I have a call for you. I'm just putting it through. All right, mate. Dave here. Listen, uh, I know you've only come in to clean up the place, but I've got a bit caught up, so uh, you're going to have to run the news tonight. Now, don't worry. It's not hard, and I'm going to stay on the phone and help you. First, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the broadcast room, so if you're not doing it already, look forwards towards all those screens. Right, look up at the top. That coloured bar is your audience. You want to keep the viewers going up and not down. Underneath that, you've got the screens. The one on the right is the broadcast screen. That's what the viewers are seeing at home. It's only a couple of seconds behind the master screen there in the middle. That's the one you control. Now, the four small screens on the left show the different signals coming from the studio. And you can choose between them using the numbered buttons on the vision mixer at the bottom left. Don't worry. I'll talk you through it and you'll pick it up in no time. Now, have a look to your left. These plugs control everything in the studio. I've left them set up for you, so provided you haven't fiddled with them, all you have to do now is throw the master trip switch and we're in business. Once you've got the power on, face the front again. You can see on the broadcast screen that we're in the end titles for the show before us. Fortunately, they go on for fucking ages, so there's plenty of time for me to explain... Oh, right, okay, they're over, so we haven't got long now till the broadcast. Right, quickly, mate, look down under the desk. You can see a load of videotapes on the left. They're your adverts. Pick any three and load them into the machines on the right. When you've done that, look up to the front again. Four old ladies from East Grinches. That's followed at 8 p.m. by award-winning documentary series, The Shape of Now, which tonight looks at the history of the knee-length sock and its importance during the great blackouts of 1871. Not one to miss. At 9pm, sit back and relax with multiple award-winning movies. The freedom when you get the signal, select screen one with the vision mixer and we're ready to go. Oh, pour on a mayonnaise. Mm. Yeah, don't see if it makes me come out in pustules. Yeah, I thought it might increase our viewing figures. Every day. You offer me prawns every day. Ten seconds, everybody. That's how I show love. You're trying to kill me. And yet you persist. Oh, going oh, five, oh, four. Oh, it's time to join Jeremy Donaldson. Good evening, I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main story is tonight. OK, we're all good. Next is going to be the thread of the news titles on screen two. There'll be a countdown, but I'll count you in as well. Just relax, mate. It's all gravy. Buys Honest Andy's totally independent and corners the flawed market. Top chat. Sports fans everywhere celebrate as popular footballer Johnny Hamsleaves wins Sports Personality of the Year. And a spoonful of sugar. Megan will be chatting with movie star Lawrence Blunderclatch about his new movie, The Medicated. And, of course, we'll be going live to advance headquarters to hear what the leaders of this fledgling party have to say on their historic... Right. Button That's two, in three, two, one. Net lovely, mate. Next thing is to throw back to Jeremy with button one when that globe in the middle shrinks down and vanishes. Switch to screen one now. Lovely, mate. 
The votes are in, and it's a decisive win for advance. We often get a bit of interference around this time, mate. Keep your eye on the machine at the bottom right. Use that slider that's flashing, or your scroll wheel, to move the wave up and down, keeping the green bit in the white bit. But critics have accused it of a severe lack of actual policies and of being deliberately vague. The opposition parties have all conceded defeat to Advance's overwhelming mandate, but have yet to appear publicly. However, former Home Secretary... Right, it's going well. All you've got to do now is play the advert at the end of the segment. Make sure you don't play it too early or we'll all get fired. Now, the clock at the top is counting you down to the advert. When it reaches zero, press one of the three play ad buttons over there at the bottom right. I normally play the first one and the first break and so on, but you can play them in any order you want. I'll count you into it as well, but keep your eye on the clock. To hear the co-leader's acceptance speech. And three, two, one, advert. One minute back, everybody. Jeremy, I need you to fill after the ads. What? Why? Wanker Snatch is running late. Oh, I thought I'd ask him about the election. Personally, I wouldn't try to confuse him with any big words. Hmm, that's the same policy we use with you. I thought that was our little secret. That's all right, he doesn't remember anything I tell him. I'm deeply uncomfortable with your burgeoning friendship. Mm, yeah. Wicked. We made it to the first ad break. You're doing great, mate. But this is where it starts getting a bit trickier. This next sequence is what we call a multi-cam sequence, because you're going to be cutting between multiple cameras to keep things interesting. A lot of it's down to personal taste, but here's three good rules of thumb. One, try and keep the shot on whoever is doing the talking. Two, don't stay on the same shot for too long. Ten seconds at the most. So if you're on the person who's talking, try and throw in the odd reaction shot or pull out to the wide shot for a bit just to keep it interesting. Three, don't stay on reaction shots for too long. A couple of seconds is usually enough. Then the audience want to see who's doing the talking, yeah? Stick to these rules and you'll be fine. It's not as complicated as it sounds. You've seen programmes on television, haven't you? Make it look like those. Might as well get screen one selected now. No need to wait for the broadcast to start. Try and stay ahead, mate. Quiet in the studio. Thank you so much. Ten seconds, everybody. With Johnny Hamsley. Getting in five, four, three. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Later, we'll be hearing from shock election winners advance. But first, get ready to go to Megan on screen four. Is here with a star of both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf, culture correspondent. And today I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare. Right, to go to Blunderclatch on screen three when she says his name. By none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, my dear. I do hope you believe me when I tell you that being with you here today is a moment. Switch to two for the wide now. <laughs> May I say, having you here with us is among ours. <laughs> right, now just try and stay on whoever's talking. ...latest movie, which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, yes. <laughs> wow, what was that like? Yeah. Well, as I said to Peter at the rap, that's Peter Jensen, the director. Give us a look at Megan's reaction. He's a wonderful Lovely. Jensen. Lovely. Now back to Thunder Twat. I've worked with him on several movies, all terribly successful. I said to Peter, what a wild ride this has been. And do you know what, Megan? I really meant that. Wow, that is fantastic. And am I right in saying that the character you play in this movie is quite an academic one? Absolutely right. A scientist. Was that a challenge at all? What exactly are you implying? But seriously, yes, you're right. It was a complete departure from my last starring role when I played Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. You'll remember that that was the true story of one soldier's fight for a love that surpasses all others. A love, of course, for freedom. I think it's grossed over a billion dollars, but uh, obviously, who's counting? <laughs> it's a role that saw you scoop two Best Actor awards, if I remember correctly. It's so sweet of you to mention it, but I really am not in it for the awards, although those three little statues do take pride of place on my mantelpiece. Uh, with all the others, I'm sure. So, if you're not doing it for the awards, mm. what is it then that drives you? Mm. Oh, that is a beautiful question, Megan, and not easy to answer. Like you, like you, I'm afraid. Cut me, and I will bleed. And often, that's how it feels, doesn't it? 
That's how it's Doesn't called. it? Bleeding. Doesn't it? Giving. Bleeding. Suffering Giving. for one's audience. Suffering for one's audience. I suppose in the end I do it for the difference it I makes. Suppose in the end I do it for, I do the, it for the, people the, people the people that I inspire. I do it for the people the little people. Inspire. But most of all, I think I do it for the positive change all, that I can I bring about in the world. And today, of course, <laughs> we're in for some real change, it looks like, in the coming few months. What do you make of this historic election result? Oh, well, <laughs> well, now you're asking. Historic election result, indeed. Historic is the word. Well, it's difficult, isn't it? Very difficult. But um, I think I've always been quite clear that when it comes to politics, that one should always strive to not fuck things up. Oh, well, don't worry, you won't do it again. Sorry, I said fuck. Yeah, yeah. She did it again. OK, don't panic. I'll explain how to deal with swearing at the break. ...which opens next week. Right, they've swapped the shot of Jeremy on screen one for a VT of the movie clip. You'll get a countdown on the screen, but I'll just let Megan cue you in. My character, Dr Lance Hemlock, is faced with a decision that could affect humanity's very survival. Exciting stuff. Let's take a look. Exciting stuff. Oh, looks like Blunder Clash is losing it in the studio, but we ain't got time for that. There's more interference coming. It's a bit trickier this time, mate. Use that little flashing joystick to the left of the knob, or hold down your middle mouse or alt on your keyboard, and as the frequency changes, match it to the white bit by dragging right. You think I don't know that? Now we're going to squash the frequency back by dragging left. No, this mustn't. Think of Carol. Dr. Lance to you, Miss Flanagan. <laughs> Jubbly, mate. Good to see you, baby. Next, we're going to change the amplitude. Same as last time, little joystick or hold alt or middle mouse, and this time, push upwards. You told me, but I didn't listen. Doctor. I'm drowning, Lance, you said. You need to see this. No, it's all right, good. now let's match it back by going downwards. virus. The sterility. This formula. This formula. This, this is the key. We can stop it all. Yes. Bloody perfect, mate. Oh. We have to ask ourselves. At the end of the clip, you'll want to play another ad. Remember to use the clock at the top to count you in. Seriously, we've had worse. Five, four, three. Welcome back. And I'm told we can now go Welcome live back. to advance headquarters where the two leaders, Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury, are about to make their acceptance address. Are about to make their acceptance address. Oh shit, he's pissed. Shall I start? Get ready to play. Go for it, Pat. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, uh, 
thank you all for coming. And well, where do I start? What a day! They said we couldn't do it. They certainly did. They you, every dirty, low-down, lying, southern bastard trick they had against us. But you, the people, you saw right through their shit. I'm sorry about the language there. Sorry about that. I've had a couple of celebratory pints. It makes me coarser than the grown is funny. Memorably put. <laughs> but to be honest, who can blame Peter for celebrating? Throughout the campaign, you've heard us say that advance are not a political party. A party is what you have when things are going well. When the country is suffering, you don't need a party. You need a team. A team that can change things. But today is day one of a new future, a better, fairer future. So perhaps we should all be celebrating. Except for the rich. For them, the party's over. They shouldn't be celebrating. They should be putting their shitting pants on and opening their dusty checkbooks. Again, colourfully put, but not inaccurate. <laughs> Before we came out here to address the nation, we used our executive powers to pass the Assets and Wealth Act. Working with the tax office, we have produced a definitive list of every person in the country with wealth into the millions. You know the sort of probably you, you rather you don't. Because the likes of you and me are not welcome in their gated communities. Tomorrow, we will be introducing a sweeping reform of the tax system in this country. No more hiding wealth offshore, no more trust funds or creative accounting, a simpler, fairer, unavoidable set of tax laws. So all you bastard public school snobs have got nowhere to hide. And earlier today, we revoked your passport. You want them back? You want to leave like you threatened before the election? That's fine. But first, you're going to pay up. You're going to pay back. Advance are going to turn this country from a nation of warring individuals into a team. To properly fund health and education. To raise the living standards of us all. The pundits said we'd have to raise billions. But you'll see when we've reclaimed what's ours, that's absolute ferret shite. So to you posh twats. The people who pay you a pittance to serve them drinks in their private clubs. The, the people whose children you raise. So they've got time to get even fucking richer. Advance have this to say to you. It ends today. We are coming for your sports cars and your mansions and your vineyards. It ends today. We will put the wealth of this country back where it should have always been, in the hands of the people who created it. It ends today. Yes, it ends today. And tomorrow, we'll start making it fair again, just like we promised we would. And until then, ladies and gents, I suggest we all get pissed. I can't argue with that. Thank you for your time. <laughs> well, an interesting acceptance speech there from the leaders of Advance. And our apologies for the fruity language. Hopefully, we got that bleeped out for you in time. If not, someone's going to be in trouble. So, as the country braces itself for new government, that's all from us this evening at the National Nightly News. We'll be back tomorrow with full coverage of the first day under Advance. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful I'm night. Have a peaceful and we're out. Right, Good looks like you've got it now. Thanks for real, mate. I've got to go. Ferry's about to leave. Probably won't Ferry. be coming back. Job's yours, mate. Good luck. This is some weird fever dream. Am I dying now or something? You should be so lucky. I'll see you tomorrow night. Not going for a drink? No, nope, got a date. Lucky you. Try not to get murdered. A yellow, a purple. Neil's deals are unreal. You've got people coming over at Christmas. You've got an aunt. She's going to leave a stain on the sofa. You don't want to sit on this white sofa. She's going to have to sit on the dark sofa. This is a deal with Neil Appeal. You want to throw? Throw your money at us. We'll give you a leather sofa for a price that is just crazy. If you've got lightning striking, then strike whilst the lightning is hot. You've got a disused sofa. We don't care if it's smelly, dug in front of your telly, full of welly. We'll take that shit away. Don't make a meal out of it. Make a deal out of it. We
We got a big ass deal on a big ass chair. We've got white chairs, blue chairs, stools, inflatable chairs. This is a crazy deal with Neil Appeal. You don't want no lame ass chair. You want a great chair. We had a man come down the other day and he brought in his young daughter and he wanted her to have the best chair. We got those chairs. We got none of those chairs. We got tall chairs. Chairs on wheels. Wheelchairs. We got chairs for twins. Chairs made out of steel. Chairs that are steel and a deal. We got those chairs. You want crazy? We got crazy. Crazy Neil's got crazy deals. You want a toilet? We can do you a toilet. We can do you a toilet next to a chair. We can do you a chair next to a toilet. Hell, we can even do you a toilet chair. So you come on down, you bring your ass, we've got it, you want it. You want it, we've got it, you want it. You pay us. You want it, we've got it, you want it. You want it, we've got it, you pay us. When the program's finished, you'll get a broadcast report. It's three pages. This first page shows you how well the broadcast went. Each sequence and an overall grade. Remember, grades mean bonuses and they keep the boss happy. If you want to know more about how it went, select more info. If not, select continue to move to the next page. Right, this is an optional section for when you really want to understand what happened during the show. You've got graph there showing you what the audience did. They're a fickle fucking bunch. And of course, you can really drill into the details if you want to get better at making TV. I never came here, never once. Let's start with broadcast. 